What's up, Aquarius? This is Jesse with 44 Astro with a three card bonus reading for the energies leading up to this super blue moon that's coming up on August 30th. This is a very rare moon because it is not only a super moon, it is a blue moon. A blue moon is when you get a two full moons in a single calendar month and it happens every like 2.7 years. So that in and of itself is rare. So people say once in a blue moon. But on top of that, it's also in perigee with the Earth, which is why it's a super moon, which means it's going to be in its elliptical orbit as close to the Earth as it gets. So it's going to look 14% bigger in the sky. That's where the cards wanted to stop. So we're getting not only a blue moon, we're getting a super moon. And on top of that, it's conjunct the big bad planet Saturn. And he will also be as close in orbit as he gets to the Earth because he has an elliptical orbit too. And a part of it, he's going to be as close as he can get. And on top of that, that, con that conjunction will be opposite the sun. And it will be in Aquarius. So this is going to be some tough energy. because Saturn does not play around. He is the great malefic. It's all about boundaries, testing us, putting things in our way. Specifically to make sure that, you know, we want we, we really want what we want. It looks like there's going to be some kind of sudden situation happening for you. It looks like it has to do with your love life. Whether it's sudden love coming in or mm, pleasure leaving your love life. And that's kind of what it looks like. But we'll see what the moon card says. And, you know, that's what Saturn's all about. He, he numbs things. He kind of deadens them. And with it being conjunct the moon, that's our whole inner world, the way we think, the way we feel. All that's going to be tested, our faith. It's all going to be tested. And then it being opposite the sun, it's also going to be tested in the outer world, the way we express ourselves. It's gonna be, there are going to be situations that are going to be like, hey, prove that you feel this way. Prove that you have faith in this. You know, prove that, 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 that you've worked on your emotions, that you've worked on your mind. And there's going to be situations that... They bring it up. So it's, it's bouncing in, in, inward and outward in your world. And if you are an Aquarius Ascendant, it's going to be in your first house. Depending on what degree it falls in, it could be your second house, but pretty much your first house. <laughs> it's first or second, right? Just depending on what degree. I guess it could also be 12th. It depends on the degree, right? Now it should be it should be twelfth or first for you, depending on the degree. So, with the twelfth house, you know it's all about loss. So Saturn, <laughs> you know, ooh, that's the card right there. Expect a powerful change. Okay. Well, yeah, I think you're some kind of change coming in your love life, whether it be love coming in or love leaving out, because you have the blasted tower, the Lord of the hosts of the mighty, you got the lovers which is the children of the voice divine. You have the five of cups, which is the lord of the loss of pleasure, which is Mars and Scorpio, which is all about sexual energy, by the way. If you have Mars and Scorpio, it's a very sexual placement. That's going to be like you are a very, you have a lot of sexual needs and you have to fulfill them. So it looks like it could be something to do sexually with your love life, if I had to guess. It looks like a powerful change in it, whether it be for better or for worse. It looks like the energies leading up for you, Aquarius, are going to have something to do with that. Um, with it being, if it is in your 12th house, it could be loss. And if it is, if this conjunction is occurring in your 12th house, which means it's going to be, the sun will be in the 6th house for you, then you know, it could be also 1st and 7th. It just depends on where you're where you're going. If you don't know how to look up your natal chart, I did a tutorial video. It's on my channel. I will... It goes. I go over a lot of the basic astrology, all the houses, how to look up your birth chart, all that, and look and what's powerful in a chart and how to find it. Um, so I'll link that in the description below. So if it is in your seventh house where the sun is, that's your personal relationships. That could be your spouse. That's your one-on-one -on -one relationships, which would be your love life. If it is your sixth house, that's your personal health, and that could also have something to do with you know it could affect your love life if you have something um, physical health, but it's also your service to the world. And also your little fuzzy animals are also represented in the sixth house. So, but the actual conjunction with Saturn and the moon will be in your first or twelfth. First will be physical self again. So again, you're looking at probably health or the or basically your daily life. What you're doing is going to be tested in some way, or it's going to be your twelfth house, which would be you know loss is going to teach you in some way, or um, you're going to have some kind of weird dreams or psychic on your unconscious is going to be acting real weird i mean it also i mean 12th houses it could represent foreign lands too so it could be some kind of travel 
um, involved. Something, but it's not going to be like under the best circumstances, probably if you have to travel. But this current situation leading up to this moon, right? So this is this is not really the reading for the full moon. That will be the reading I do next week. This is the energy leading up to it. And it's looking like it's looking like a change in your love life, whether it be a spark in your sexual life, or you no longer have the spark in your sexual life, or something along those lines. Yeah. So there's going to be a powerful change, and it could be that like you, you're about to get you know explosively sexual. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's always healthy, and it could be the opposite. Like you no longer feel it anymore, and then you're gonna have to you're gonna have to change, move on. But that's what it looks like with the you know with the Lord of Loss and Pleasure, and you know Mars in Scorpio, and that's what this card represents: Mars in Scorpio. You know, that's someone has an insatiable sexual appetite, and if that's not fulfilled, you're gonna have to probably have to make a change. It's one of those things, you know. Or it's you find somebody that's like that, and maybe it's like, yo, you know, I ain't I ain't all like that, <laughs> and you have to make a change. And it could be that there's a spark lit, and then that's the kind of energy that takes over you know that's the kind of relationship you get in when it's really sexual now, ain't nothing wrong with that i mean you're gonna be a lot probably a lot happier i mean i know the more sex i have the happier i am anyway but yeah some some sudden's gonna happen and it's gonna make a change and it looks like it has to do with your love life because it could just be love in general because in this deck if you look it's perseus saving the lady instead of it being um a male and a female together. But it still does represent love. But it's also a forward movement like that. It could be ambition, things like that. It could be a situation where you get to be, you know, heroic in some way, like Perseus. Because that's Perseus attacking a snake there, freeing the lady from the chain. So it could be something like that. It could be some sudden situation that frees you in some way. It, it could free you from that loss and pleasure. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a specific relationship. So if you're single, it's most likely something like that. You may be called upon to be heroic in some way. And if that's the case, you got to be ready. But anyway, that's all I have, Aquarius. Um, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. Uh, I will link the, the video for the tutorial down in the description. Um, I will do the full moon reading next week. Um, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. Uh, thank you for being here, and I hope to see you here again.